blocks of language patterns are these. These are the basic building blocks. Here are some of the ones I find the most useful. The most useful are words like imagine, feel, imagine that, feel that. You understand? Imagine, feel, do that, think that. Imagine, feel, do, think. So what are some of the feeling states we would like women to have? What are some of the things we'd like women to, to feel? Attraction, horny, what else? Fascination. fascination. So I would say when you feel fast, when a person begins to feel fascination and they allow those feelings to build, that's another one. Allow, allow. Allow those feelings to build. That's another good command. Allow. You start with allow and then you say, where you want things to go. Allow those feelings to build. Allow those feelings to get stronger. Allow yourself to think that, Debbie. You hear it? Yeah. That's a really, also a really good way to start commands is the word allow. Another word would be permit. Permit that to happen. So I find when a woman can permit that to happen and realize it's taking place, you hear it? Permit that to happen. Realize it's taking place. Let's practice saying that. Allow that to happen out loud. Allow that to happen. Permit that to take place. A person can realize you want to get laid. You can realize you want to get laid. Does that make sense? Now, one way you can set up commands is by what I call weasel phrases. Weasel phrases are little bits of language that allow you to embed commands. For example, I'll say, a person can. Let's say I want to give Debbie the command to feel horny. It probably doesn't work to say, Debbie, feel horny. So I talk about other people's experience. I say, a person can feel horny, Debbie. A person can feel horny, Debbie. So here's your command, right? The command, let's say, start with the smallest piece first. What's your command? What would you like a woman to feel? Someone tell me. Aroused. Aroused, OK. The command would be, feel aroused. You get that? Or do you, everyone get that's the command? Yes. So rather than say, feel aroused, Debbie, I'll embed it inside a weasel phrase. I'll put a weasel phrase there. You know, a person can feel aroused, Debbie. People can feel aroused, Debbie. A woman can feel aroused, Debbie. My friend Sally was saying that a woman can feel aroused, Debbie. Do you see how that works? So we have weasel phrases. Weasel phrases allow you to set up the commands. Here are some weasel phrases. A person can, people can, a woman can. Do you understand? The weasel phrase contains these words like can. Can is what we call, look here, I'm going to go slowly and review it with you. Can is what they call in NLP, don't write this down, a modal operator of possibility. It creates the possibility for the suggestion to happen. So I could be direct. I could say, Debbie, feel horny. What would be wrong with saying that? She'll resist it. But if I say, a person can feel horny, Debbie. Someone can feel horny, Debbie. Women can feel horny, Debbie. I'm not talking about her directly, so it dissipates the resistance. Do you understand? So weasel phrases would be things like, a person can, people can, a woman can. Does that make sense? 